Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. As believers, one thing we must learn how to do is to hold God by his word. He has said his words will not come back void, but will accomplish that which is sent. The word of God is powerful and quick, and it's able to destroy the works of the evil one when it's used. So in starting our day, we must learn to send the word of God to go before us, to clear the path for us when starting the day. So dear brothers and sisters, this is a prayer to start your day and walk in God's mercy and grace. But before we pray, I'd like to read the word of God so that we can hold on to his promises and walk in his promises all throughout the day. Philippians chapter four, verse 19 says, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Psalm chapter 23, verse six, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm chapter 1, 18, verse 24, this is the day the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 6, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Psalm chapter 31, verses 7 to 8, I will rejoice and be glad in your steadfast love because you have seen my affliction. You have known the distress of my soul and you have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 23 Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him, my heart trusts. Psalm 143, verse 18. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. For I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Dear brothers and sisters, with these powerful scriptures we've just read, let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, I ask you today, Lord, to release your mercy and grace upon my life. As I stand before you, Father, I am humbled by the enormity of your presence, and I lay my life down at your feet. In this sacred moment, I bring everything I dream of, everything I long for, and everything I hold dear, and lay it at your feet, Lord. Holy Spirit, may you be my guide throughout this day. I recognize that without your wisdom and discernment, I am lost in the complexities of life. As I embark on this new day, I thank you for your protection, Lord. I ask that you order my steps, direct my path, and keep me safe from harm's way. May the blood of Jesus protect me, that sacred blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Just as it stood as a formidable shield for the Israelites in Egypt, let that same blood speak for me today as I venture out into the world. May it declare peace, safety, and unwavering protection over my life. Lord, I acknowledge that I am wholly dependent on your grace. I know that your word says in the book of Hebrews, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. For many of us, Lord, this is indeed our time of need. We come before you seeking your grace, your unfailing mercy over our lives. I am grateful for your new mercies every day and I declare with unwavering faith that your goodness and mercies shall never depart from me. Help me, Lord, to move away from the tendency to rely on my own strength. 
Help me to surrender to your divine will and trust in your infinite wisdom. King Jesus, I thank you for always welcoming us, even in our weakness, and for never turning away from us, even in our brokenness and desperation. You, King Jesus, are Lord of Lords, great and mighty, yet filled with compassion and affection. You are an all-consuming fire, but you are also absolute in your love. Lord Jesus, your word says, while we were yet still sinners, you sacrificed yourself for us. Lord Jesus, I repent for my sins today. I repent for the transgressions I've committed, both in my mind and in my actions. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am imperfect and in constant need of your forgiveness. Thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who, in an extraordinary display of love, rescued us from the grip of sin. Your love was so immense that you would not allow sin to separate us from you. Heavenly Father, I ask that you cleanse my heart and mind from all iniquities. May your mercy and grace wash over me like a soothing, purifying stream. Help me to rise above the temptations of this world and lead a life that is pleasing in your sight. Grant me the strength to conquer the battles I face, whether they are external or the internal struggles within my soul. Lord, as I navigate the challenges of this day, be my constant companion. Walk with me, speak to me through the whispers of the Holy Spirit. Guide my thoughts, my words, and my actions so that they align with your divine will. Help me make the right decisions that reflect your wisdom and love. Shield me from the cunning attacks of the enemy who seeks to lead me astray. Your protection is my fortress, and I take refuge in your mighty embrace. Father Lord, I am grateful for your unwavering presence, your grace that sustains me through the trials of life. When the storms rage, I know I can find shelter in your arms. In moments of doubt and fear, I seek solace in your word, which reassures me of your boundless love and grace. Heavenly Father, as I journey through this day, grant me the strength to be a vessel of your light and love to those I encounter. Let me be an instrument of your peace, sharing your mercy and grace with others. May my actions and words reflect the depth of your love, touching the lives of those in need. You have blocked attacks from the enemy that I did not even know about, Heavenly Father. You are my shield the impenetrable fortress that shields me from the unseen dangers and adversities that lurk in the shadows. I ask for the courage and strength to overcome the enemy, to stand firm in the face of adversity and emerge victorious through your grace. You have promised, Lord, to always stand by me. Your unwavering presence is my greatest comfort, for you have pledged to never leave us nor forsake us. In these challenging times when the world seems uncertain and the weight of life's burdens threatens to overwhelm us, we need you more than ever. Your promise to be our constant companion, to walk with us through the darkest valleys, is a source of unending hope. I am eternally grateful, Father, for the protective cloak of grace and mercy that you have wrapped around us. Your grace, a divine gift, freely given continues to pour over us like a gentle rain washing away our sins and lifting our spirits it is a grace that forgives redeems and guides us on the path of righteousness your mercy tender and boundless brings solace to our weary souls offering compassion in our times of need you have clothed us with everlasting joy a joy that transcends the trials and tribulations of this world. It is a joy rooted in the assurance of your love and the promise of eternal life. I raise my voice in praise and bless your holy name, for you are a covenant-keeping God. Your promises are irrevocable, your word unchanging, and your faithfulness unwavering. I declare with unwavering faith that the Lord is my rock the unshakable foundation on which I stand. In the face of life's storms, you are my fortress, a place of refuge and safety. 
You are my deliverer, the one who rescues me from the snares of the enemy. I find solace in the fact that you are the horn of my salvation, the source of my strength and salvation, and my stronghold in times of trouble. Others may not see the battles we fight, Lord, but you do. You see the struggles that we hide behind our smiles and the pain that we mask with brave faces. I am thankful that you not only see, but also understand our deepest pains and fears. You are the empathetic and loving Father who never forsakes his children, even in their moments of weakness. When the challenges of life become overwhelming, when the trials become too heavy for us to bear, let your mercy be displayed in our lives. Let it shine as a beacon of hope, guiding us through the darkest hours. May your grace be our strength, your love our refuge, and your promises our unwavering foundation. As we continue to journey through this day, I place my trust in you, Heavenly Father. Your love is our armor, your mercy our shield, and your grace our guiding light. I surrender my worries and fears into your capable hands, knowing that you are in control. Be with us, Lord, as we face the uncertainties of this world, and let your presence be a source of comfort and unwavering strength. Lord, I pray for those who are struggling and suffering. May your mercy be poured out upon them, comforting their hearts and bringing healing to their souls. For those who are lost and searching for meaning, guide them to your truth and the salvation that can only be found in you. Your love knows no bounds, and I ask that it shines brightly on those who need it most. I extend my gratitude to you, Heavenly Father, for your unending love and your willingness to embrace us, even in our most flawed moments. You are the embodiment of compassion and grace, and for that, I am eternally thankful. As I go forth into this day, I do so with a heart full of faith, trusting in your divine plan for my life. In the name of Jesus, I surrender this day into your loving hands, knowing that you are the master of all things, and I am but an instrument of your will. May your mercy and grace be with me always, guiding my steps and filling my heart with your unending love. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, if you are blessed and believe your prayers are answered, type Amen in the comments section. Also subscribe to this channel for more uplifting video and share this video with a loved one. God bless you.